What are we promoting? Well, first of all, all I right, think, thank you very much. Hey! We'll talk to you later. <laughs> We're out of time. First of all, I want to know if you'd spoon feed me some of Hobika's money. Jesus. Yeah. Well, we tried to earlier this oh, morning. Oh my God. Yeah. Wake but up it, out there, folks. But anyway, it's uh, Dennis did win though. Ultimately, it was more like yeah. a chopstick you had, feeding. You had to force him to take the money. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's it a comes seventh, with a Christmas card, by the way, too. <laughs> it's the seventh <laughs> annual Mayor's Gala. Okay. At the uh, the new double tree this uh, this coming not this Saturday but the week from Saturday to benefit the uh, the Kelman Center which they do great work. There. It's not this Saturday; it's a week from it's Saturday. The 28th. Do they have a date for that? Twenty eighth. The twenty eighth. Yes, yeah. And the it's, and it, you know, you it's know, a week from tomorrow. It's all about that. Uh, you know, it's when the community comes together. All the restaurants. It's it's in, we have a record amount of uh, sponsors this year. We're up to about three hundred tickets already sold. Um, I should say over four hundred tickets sold, and. Uh, I can't talk any faster. So anyway, you're doing uh, very well, though. I, I have to tell you. <laughs> so that. I mean, you've been to the thing before. It's, it's a it's I a great time. You and you were there. Yeah, I mean, last year was a great time. Yeah, and and everybody gets all dialed up, and uh, it's a great time, and it's a you know, it's a people watching thing. But I mean, the work they do at the <laughs> the work they do at the Kelvin Center, and I'm not going to go through all the. Uh, it's a good the organization. Here. How yeah. fast am I going? But going pretty good. Well, so not anyway, fast enough, but yeah, <laughs> you're doing well. So um, the Kelvin Center. I was just talking to Michael Kelvin, Doctor Kelvin, and they're they're expanding. You know, they they're, they're, they've been growing like a weed. They're, they're taking over Sunset School. They're going to demo that and put it in an apartment building wow. so that people can uh, live together. So it's it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful cause. It's a great time, and uh, it's next Saturday, twenty eighth, starting at six to eleven. Okay. And you get <clears throat> uh, with that, you get the free food. All the restaurants. That's are on the town. one there, at right? Uh, and, and towards the end of Sunset Ave in South Utica, yeah. that Sunset yeah. Building. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. That, that no building. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't realize that. that. Yeah. All right, uh, very nice. Well, that's it. I'm done. Well, you can hang. Oh, while I, I want to. I, have you ever heard of? Because you're old enough for this. Uh, Lisa Bronk is with the I'm Mohawk Valley it. Institute for Learning in Retirement. I know you're not retired. That's very, that's very sensitive. But you're of age to retire. Oh, He's oh. teaching the class. I'm past Video it. production. I'm I was past there. It. I'm past I, I was there yesterday, and the executive director is Lisa Bronk. Uh, Lisa, I just wanted to give you a quick opportunity to be able to talk about what it is that you guys do over at SUNY Poly. Well, thank you. We were very uh, happy to have you yesterday, Bill. And MVILR is a member-driven 501c3 organization with approximately 400 members who are devoted to lifelong learning. They have uh, been on the SUNY Poly campus for 21 years, and it's all about learning things that they are passionate about. Yeah. Also, teaching things that they're passionate about. So there's no money involved with teaching. People volunteer to teach something that they are really interested in. Well, I thought it was, I I have to say, it it was, I was, when I first saw it speak for 90 minutes, I'm like, whoa, what am I going to do? Um, uh-huh. And I, we could have gone on for another ninety minutes. It was really, and the questions were great. These uh, very knowledgeable people, I, I felt in awe of their knowledge. I really did um, uh, yesterday, but I, I actually enjoyed it. I had a good time. And I was going to say, it sounds like a great program. I was just wondering why the hell you had Bill there yesterday. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> they <laughs> saw that I, that, that I was getting these AARP letters in the mail. Yeah. So they're like, come well, on, Bill, Bill, here we go. Bill, you're, free cooler, you're on the cusp of, of what's going on it locally. And people are very concerned about what's going on in the news. We actually have two news classes that we put on each week, and there's a lot of discussion every week. They debate. To disagree, and, uh, to disagree at yeah. times. My, my favorite thing, though, Lisa, was when I said, so how, uh, where, how are you guys on Trump? We don't talk about it. Uh, nope, don't bring that up. You get people rolling their eyes, and it was uh, it's like every dinner, dinner table uh, across America right now because there's, there are two sides and they're so polarized. It's crazy. But For sure. I, I think yes. so. If somebody is interested in, in, in going to this class, uh, joining your group, how do, they, how do they do it, Lisa? Well, we have a website, so you can certainly go out to that. It's uh, slash mzilr. And we also have a phone number, 792-7192. All right. And... We have our. We're right in the middle of our spring session right now, even though it seems like winter outside. Oh, it and does. Yeah. We still have several classes. If people would like to enroll, we have um, a number of things, and they can see them on our website. And our catalog is out there. But we are also planning for fall right now, and I do hope that people will look at our website and realize that in September, when they want to really jump into something new 
that they can do it here with no pressure. I mean, there's no homework, there are no tests, no grading, and they can just come and learn for the sake of learning. Right. And that's what it's all about. Well, I uh, I really enjoyed it, and I think it's a great program, and people should uh, reach out to you guys. So, uh, Lisa, thanks for coming on. Anything you need down the road, you let us know. Okay, and All we'd right. love to have you come up again and talk with us. All right, I will do that. I promise you. I'll yeah, she told me yesterday. Nice. She said, Thank you. "You know, when when Bill's going to speak for nine minutes, she said, what's he going to do for ninety yeah. minutes?'" She yeah. said the same thing. Yeah. So I'm well, glad it worked out. It did work out. Thank you, Lisa. Enjoyed having you. All right, thank thanks. you.